You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. Welcome back to Hialeah Park for our next Warriors Boxing Premier Boxing Champions presentation, which of course will be Friday night, right out here in our beautiful atmosphere. <coughs> I think you all know the drill by now, so without further ado, it's a pleasure to introduce our partners, and at this time, the president of Warriors Boxing, Leon Marcus. First of all, Frank, thank you very much. It's great to be back at Highland Park. Um, we've now had a, 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 a four-year partnership already, and I have to tell you that uh, Hialeah Park has become the premier destination for big time boxing in South Florida. For those of you locally who follow boxing, all of the big fights in the last three or four years have been here, um, including two world title defenses of Arislandi Lara. Friday night promises to be no less spectacular, actually in some ways better, because some of these matchups are some of the finest we've ever made in terms of their competitive nature, um, including the main event, um, which features an undefeated, young, up-and-coming star, Mr. Bialy over here, against an aging veteran, KG, two-time world champion, uh, the great Jean Pascal. Um, so we're very excited about um, that main event, and, and we got also lucky because just in the last couple of days, we were able to add um, Cuban heavyweight contender or uh, Victor Ortiz to the card. Luis, Luis Ortiz to the card. I'll be all right. Luis, I've sat in traffic for an hour and a half getting here. That's why I was late. So we're very excited about all of the fights on the card. Um, unfortunately, uh, Jean Pascal, who had a 7 a.m. flight this morning and was going to come straight from the airport, his flight was canceled, and he's now will not be in until this evening. And Luis Ortiz had a family issue he had to deal with with his wife at the hospital, so he's not here today, but he will be in action on, uh, on, on Friday night. So without further ado, and to talk about the fights, I'm going to bring up my longtime partner and dear friend, um, I'm the COO of Warriors Boxing, Louis DeCoote. First of all, I just want to thank the Hialeah Racetrack, the Casino, John Brady Sr., John Brady Jr., Frank Fury. It's great to be back here again. <coughs> Leanne says everybody knows boxing, big time boxing. It's the Hialeah Racetrack, Casino. We've been having shows here for the last four years. Uh, you know, the fans love it, it's a great crowd, great atmosphere, and like Leon says, without a doubt, this is probably the strongest card we ever had on, on paper. You know, when you're talking about a, a main event, like a Met Lala Bali against uh, Mr. G. Pascal, I mean, you can't, you can't, two guys are sluggers, two guys are not going to take a back seat, two guys are coming forward, they're both going to be looking for the knockout, and I'm very, very excited. Now, on Monday, uh, I got more excitement. About this car, and, and 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 that is the return after years of uh, layoff of Luis King Kong Ortiz, one of the best heavyweights in the world. Uh, been on HBO many many times. You know, many people think he's, he's the guy out there. You know, when you talk heavyweight, you talk Anthony Joshua, you talk Wilder, and you talk Ortiz. You know, so when you add him to the card against a guy that's coming off a very impressive win 
Mr. Marks is a big six foot seven heavyweight, strong, and uh, you know promises to be a great heavyweight fight. You know, and so I'm very excited to bring Ortiz back. There's a rumor in the industry that uh, Dante Waller's coming to the fights to watch him fight, which is even bigger yet. And, uh, and and looking like early next year, if Ortiz does what he's supposed to do, you know, he's going to get that title shot. So I'm very, very excited. We might have the first Cuban heavyweight champion of all times, which has been tried a few times, never happened. So I'm excited about that. His manager, Jay Jimenez, is here and uh, to talk a little bit about it. Uh, I know his trainer's here, Herman Deseda, who's one of the best trainers in the world, done a tremendous, tremendous job by the kid. He really taught him how to th fight pro style and and uh, I think that's going to be a great break for that fight. I think the, the trainer is going to be great for that fight, for the, for the Wilder fight. I think he knows how to fight him. But the card is unbelievable. You know, you got a lot of great fights in the card. You know, you got this Brian Perella, which is, he's a slugger. He's fighting against, against a guy that's five years before, Alex Martin from Chicago. That promises to be a <coughs> tremendous, tremendous fight. Okay, you got a kid named Ivan Navarro, which is a very, very good fighter. He's also managed by J.E. Menes. And he's fighting an undefeated kid. Here's Legon Navarro. He's not, not taking an undefeated kid, a guy that's so, you know national amateur champion. He's going to fight him two undefeated guys. And that also promotes to be another great fight. Also in the card, a kid that Chico Rivas told me a lot about him, a local attraction here in El Calderon. He's fought here in Miami many times. I hear he's a very, very, very good prospect. And he's also in the card. Also in the card, a kid that I've been taking a look at. I think he could be the new local kid here that can can take over. A 19 year old kid, okay. And 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 you got it here. Eduardo Paris is trained by a former fighter of mine, one of the greatest white uh, Cuban fighters ever from over here, Ramon Garbay. And this kid here's got potential to be a real real star. So in all, we got a little bit of everything. The fights, like Leon said, on paper are unbelievable. But I think when you're talking about going into the car, what a tremendous car we had. And you add an attraction like like Luis Ortiz to the card. I mean, you can't you know you can't ask more than that. So I'm I'm very very excited about this car. Again, thank the Hialeah Racetrack for this great opportunity. And I think now it's time for the fighters uh, to, to talk a little bit. And I think Leon, why don't you go ahead and introduce the uh, fighters and have some fighters? Okay. Well, I don't I don't know who's here, but I'll do I'm Mexican. Um, I can't let a Mexican say a few words first. What? Start this way, Don Calderon. Okay, well, I want to do a Matt Lex. Okay, so I'm going to call to the to the mic. Um, he's got a record of 13 and 0 with eight knockouts, um, and he's fighting a, 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 a an eight round attraction on the card. Ladies and gentlemen, Harold Calderon. Hey, I'm here at the beautiful High Little Racetrack, but I'm talking to Harold Calderon. He's uh, what are you, 14 and 0, 13 and 0? 13 and 0 right now. And what's your weight class? Welterweight, 147. You know, that's a tough division, brother. Yes, it is, but hey, I belong here. Well, you fighting Friday night, March the 8th, I mean, December the 8th, and who's your opponent? My opponent is uh, Ariel Vasquez. He's a tough veteran, you know, more than like 30 fights, and, you know, I'm just just another opponent I got to take care of. Now, you're local here in Miami, so how you feel about that? Oh, if you don't know, this is my city. You can ask, you can ask around, you can ask... Previous opponents that have come to my city, how it ends up, they end up on the floor. You know what I mean? And that's just the plan that I plan to do. Like, I'm going to take, take them out. Nobody's going to come to my city and, you know, try to take anything from me. Not in my city. No, sir. They better not. And this is my city also, baby. So I got to see that action. How long you been fighting? Uh, I've been fighting for 10 years, like, all along. But I've been professional for four years now. This is my fourth year. So you fought in the amateurs? You fought a lot of lot of amateurs and things like that? Oh, yeah. I did my due diligence in, the, in the amateurs. Like, I really put in a lot of work in the amateurs. You know, I've been in national tournaments. I won a silver medal in the uh, Central America Games. You know, I, I put in the work. So it's, you know, pros now. And, you know, I got a lot of experience from the amateurs. So I'm grateful for that. Quick question. How did you get started in boxing? And why did you want to be a boxer? Uh, funny thing is, uh, I was... When I was in high school, I got into a lot of fights and stuff like that. Well, they were picking on you and things like that? Well, believe it or not, I got beat up my like uh, my first high school fight. I did uh, lose. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I got beat up by two guys. That's I'll say that, though. I got beat up by two guys. Uh, you know, so. But after that, I, I just kept getting in trouble, and I started fighting a lot, and I started realizing like I, I could fight. So I wanted to do something. First, I started at re in wrestling. 
and I did wrestling for about two years. You know, I made it to regionals. I wasn't that good. And then high school finished, and I wanted to do some type of combat. And uh, I found boxing, and I've been there ever since. I've never left the gym since then. And I just fell in love with the sport, and here I am today. And your family behind you 100% with, for this now, right? Yeah, 100%. You know, they get a little nervous, but you know what, what family doesn't? But, yeah, they, 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 they believe in me, and they, they support 100%. That's right. Well, thank you for taking time with me, Al McGee, here at no, your no, entertainment ticket. You, I really appreciate it. I'm glad I met you, too. Me too. But I'll be there Friday. Yes, you will, and I'll be here Friday putting on the show for you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Again. And, um, ladies and gentlemen, two years ago was the first time I had seen a mod fight. Um, it was here at Hialeah. And those of you who were here, it was an ESPN show, probably remember his opponent getting carried out on a stretcher. Um, he is one of the young, dynamic, up-and-coming boxer punchers in the world. This is a huge step up for him to prove that he's not just an exciting prospect, but that he's a world contender. Ladies and gentlemen, um, originally from Egypt, but now living and going to school and he's a college student, graduate student, in Miami, Florida, Ahmad El Bialy. Uh, good afternoon. Um, first of all, of course, I gotta, I gotta thank everyone, uh, Premier Boxing Champions, uh, FS1 and Hialeah Park for putting this great show together. And, uh, you know, of course, John Pascal for giving me the opportunity to face a former world champion like himself. It's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be a great show. I got talented fighters to my left and my right. I, I came up from the amateurs with one of them and I've seen the other one to my left feet, you know, of, of contenders, but real bad in the gym. So uh, it's gonna be a great fight. Thank you all for coming. And uh, I'll see you guys on Friday and the weigh-in. Thank you. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. I'm here at Hylia Racetrack where I'm here with I'm in El Bielli. He's fighting on December the 8th and he's fighting Jeans Bascal. How you think you're gonna come out with this fight? I think I'm gonna come out great and come out swinging. Swinging hard, right? Cause you know, he's a, he's a guy who loves to punch hard. Yeah, he's a, he's a great fighter. He comes to punch hard and uh, I come to punch hard too. So it's gonna be a good fight, you know? Well, you hear a high leader. You fought here a couple of times. Tell us about this place. It's a beautiful place. It's historic. Uh, I don't know if you if you got a glance outside, but it's a beautiful location, and uh, it's a great place to fight. And now, since you fought here, and you fight and you undefeated, do you think you'll be in real trouble with this guy, Gene? No, I'm I'm thinking positive. I could only think positive and and do my job. At 175 pounds now, that's really open now since Andre Ward retired and the belts is all available now and things like that. I know you're looking to be a world champ, but down the line, how many other fighters do you think will give you some trouble? I'm just focused on the positive. Right now, my main job is Gene Pascal. I'm not thinking about anybody, anybody giving me trouble. It's about who am I going to give trouble to. Yeah, I like that because you focus and things like that. I really enjoy that because when you focus on one fighter, that's what you need to do. And your trainer now, he y'all worked hard. How many weeks did you train for this fight? 16 weeks. Wow, 16 weeks? 16 weeks. Wow. 16 weeks. Now, who's your manager? Al Heyman, the best. And Luis Cubas, of course. That's my man. That's my, that's, my, that's my big bro. Oh, yeah, I know him too. And I met Al Heyman one time and things like that and Sam and things like that. Man, you got, you got some good management I'm, behind you. I am beyond blessed. I have a great management. I have a great team down here. And uh, I'm beyond blessed. Good luck to you on Friday. Thank you for taking more with me. Thank I only give you your entertainment ticket. Thank you. Here's my card. Thank you. So proud, so proud to work with Leon and Louie and Warriors. Mr. Heyman, Fox Sports, very, very proud and happy to have events of this nature here. And we hope that it will continue on and on. Once again, can't thank you guys enough. You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com, YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. Ticket.com, .com, We are your entertainment ticket, that's right.
Dot com. Dot com.